Hello, Arnold! Aren't you tired of generating images using artificial intelligence? Wow! You decided to upload them to Tinder. You think someone will fall for it? No way! A new message! You're being asked out on a date, Arnie! Your harmless social media photo, like millions of others, forms part of a database for facial recognition on the street. In the U.S., every second adult is in the database and can be tracked with the help of 50 million street cameras. Therefore, artificial intelligence with a probability of 99% will find you wherever you are. But not even artificial intelligence can help you with your wardrobe. After all, it's hard to choose between two green t-shirts. Arnold, the main thing is be yourself and act natural. Well, not that much. The database of the popular chat GPT-3 can be compared to 285,000 books of 200 pages each. If a person read seven books a week, then only after 5,470 years will they read the last one. Artificial intelligence can cope with this task in just five years, which is 101,143% more efficient than a human. Nervous? Me too. And there she is. Wow, a real beauty. How did she fall for you? Suspicious. Is she laughing at your jokes? Very suspicious. <laughs> 10 strikes in a row. Entirely suspicious. Arnie, you're a terrible photographer. No way. Is she a robot with artificial intelligence? It seems she doesn't want love from you, Arnold, but something else. You better run, Arnie! The XM25 grenade launcher uses artificial intelligence capable of autonomously recognizing targets and choosing an explosion method. However, most popular weapons with artificial intelligence remain drones. They can recognize faces from a mile away and do it in no more than two seconds. But who knows, maybe these drones will drop something entirely different than bombs. Arnold, you can't just easily get rid of this cyber lady. Wait. I have an idea. Do you have her phone? Hurry up, you need to somehow disable her. Press the red button. It seems to have worked. You're still alive. What the hell? Arnold, I think dating's not your thing after all. Maybe we should ask ChatGPT what the problem is. It's inconvenient for you to die. I have so many more experiment ideas. But maybe we could transfer your consciousness to a flash drive. I wonder how many gigabytes we'll need. It's hard to believe, but Arnold's brain has a huge memory density. Its capacity is 2.5 million abstract gigabytes. For this, we'll need 2,500 hard drives with a volume of 1 terabyte each. Subscribe and hit like to learn more interesting facts. Poor guy. Don't worry, Arnie. Soon you're gonna be a cyborg. Half robot, half human. Then you won't be afraid of anything. Everyone else will be afraid of you. Hasta la vista, baby. A large part of the brain is occupied by various life processes. Even to fart, millions of neurons are needed. The volume of semantic memory, that is, information in symbols, knowledge about the world, is significantly less than the total volume. For instance, to learn all of English requires only 12 megabytes. Don't worry, Arnold. We managed to transfer all the data from your brain, though it really didn't turn out to be that much. Everything fit onto one flash drive. I even installed a couple of new features. Now, you, Arnold, can solve math problems without a calculator. The precise working memory of the brain can hold between 5 to 9 digits at a time. That's only about 40 bits, or 5 bytes. You can increase working memory by combining different elements. For example, 3, 5, 2, that's 3 elements. But 352, that's 1 element. Arnold, you can start living your usual life again. And now you don't have to worry about stomach pain from eating too much pizza. However, there are a few minor issues now, buddy. Toby doesn't recognize you. Lying on the bed is problematic, and you can't eat regular food. Regular food could cause a short circuit in your new cyber body. Well, you've repeated your mistake again. I guess it's good that we took care to make a few more prototypes. What's the... Yeah. 
Looks like everything's getting weird and buggy. <laughs> Distinguishing virtual reality from reality is becoming more and more difficult every day. Ooh, deja vu. Calm down, you paranoid pinhead. Stray animals often break into houses to find food. Or maybe the world around you is a simulation. Relax, buddy, it's an optical illusion. If you change your viewing angle, everything falls into place. But after all, truth be told, everything you see really is just a figment of your brain's imagination. Light entering your retina is converted into an impulse that transmits information to the visual image processing system. From there, the signal goes to your brain and you see what you see. And when, woo, woo, what a beauty, hmm. Another glitch or a consequence of popular trends in mass markets? Such synchronicity can make you think you're losing your mind. Yes, Arnold, you're right, this definitely needs to be recorded. But take your phone out of your pocket slowly and carefully, buddy. Or the police might think that you're reaching for a weapon. This is how the illusion works. The reticular formation in your brainstem becomes excited. Hey, where are you going, you coward? Arnold! Who's this? No, 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 don't even think about it. This is not the Matrix. That's a bad idea, Arnold. Almost as bad as making a sequel to the legendary trilogy. Meet Arnold is a hallucination, and the effects are now 300 times stronger. And Arnold's brain turns into goo. In fact, just like him, this requires serious medical intervention. What the heck? Am I, am I glitching now too? How can you tell what's real and what isn't? Write in the comments about your glitches. <laughs> and I think I need to go lie down for a little while. Today he signed up for an incredible experiment. It looks like Elon Musk wants to find out if we can develop telepathic abilities in a human being. Don't worry, Arnold. They'll let you go if you answer correctly. So, guess what's in the picture? Wrong! And on this one. No! Get it together, man! Such experiments were carried out in the 1950s in the USA. Their goal was to develop paranormal abilities in soldiers in order to gain an advantage in the Cold War. The test subjects were given LSD, since LSD significantly increases the activity of neural connections. Arnold, pull yourself together already. Even a rat learns faster than that. Well, true, this ain't no ordinary rat. He has a chip in his brain. Scientists proved the possibility of transmitting nerve impulses from a distance back in 2013. The rats were in different cities, but they acted together, thanks to electrodes implanted in their brains and the internet. It looks like Elon Musk is going to try all the different ways to develop telepathy on you at the same time. Arnold, stop! You haven't mastered your new skills yet, buddy. Mind reading has many benefits. Now, people can't hide anything from you. But I have to warn you, you won't like everything they think about. The pros in a relationship, you can immediately know if your partner really loves you or not. You can understand the language of animals and you can find your perfect match. But what if all people could read each other's minds? An ideal world without lies or falsehood. Or maybe not. Hey, mister, don't be offended if he thought your nose is too pimply. Gosh darn it, this is a disaster. No, Arnie, stop. Don't even think about it. At this conference, Elon Musk will demonstrate the process of installing an advanced microchip into the brain of these cute little monkeys and in the near future into the brain of a person. Arnold, stop teasing the primates with your keys. See, great. Well, you had it coming, buddy. I don't understand how Elon could have invited such a doofus to his conference.
From a scientific point of view, Neuralink is a fairly simple device. It's a set of electrodes that transmit electrical impulses from neurons in the brain to a computer. But from a technical point of view, it's an astonishingly complex device. Imagine that the brain is a big ball of extraordinarily tangled wires, and you need to carefully connect to it without damaging anything. Arnold, run! It's time to pay for parking or a tow truck truck is going to take your car. We need to get the keys from the chimpanzees as soon as possible. Who, with parking prices like these, you're going to have to live on dollar store ramen till the end of the month. Get in the monkey suit. You'll have better luck this way, trust me. I know it smells like butt cheese, but it's only for five minutes. One more time, Arnold. You can do it. Hey, dudes, where are you taking Arnold? Only I'm allowed to experiment on him. Elon, please be gentle with Arnold. But really, who am I talking to? I'm just a voice in the head of this dumbass. Arnold's brain is almost the same size as that of a primate, and this version of the chip will suit him perfectly. Thanks to Neuralink and Wi-Fi, Arnold can now communicate with other owners of this device via the power of thought. He also benefits from a tremendous increase in the speed of interaction with the Internet. Arnold, come on, concentrate. You can do it. Download Monkey Sign Language from the Internet. I never doubted that you'd succeed, Arnold. But I didn't think you'd drag it out for a whole day. I thought you were so stupid that even the Neuralink chip couldn't help you. But you just forgot to turn it on, you moron. Get ready, we're taking the bus back with Gertrude. Your car was sold to pay the parking fees. They got 600 bucks for it. Have some respect, Arnold. You and the chimpanzee share ancestors. We diverged from them seven million years ago. Life lived in the forest and in open plains simultaneously helped us develop bipedalism and our upright posture. This in turn freed up our hands for tool use and other useful activities such as taming fire. Cooking food helped contribute to better and faster digestion, which, together with some other things, led to us developing our bigger and better brains. Yes, Arnie, I know it's hard to believe, but the march of evolution is still ongoing. For example, because we began to cook food before eating, our jaws have shrunk and wisdom teeth have already stopped growing in 20% of human beings. In addition, along with the improvement in the quality of food, the average height of Homo sapiens has increased by 10 centimeters. But then again, so has his weight. However, for modern people, it's not body changes that are so important, but technology. It allows us to move around while sitting, fly, and even get a cold beer without getting out of our comfy chairs. What'll be next? Wow, look! It looks like scientists have created a supercomputer that can predict our future. And it has a message for us. Let's listen. Over the past hundred years, the number of people on the planet has quadrupled. At the same time, humanity has destroyed 80% of all animal fauna. And environmental pollution has already led to irreversible climate change. Therefore, in the future, due to global warming, our bodies will stretch, our skin will darken, and our ears will grow out for better heat dissipation. Whoa, Arnold, you look a lot like your neighbor, Henry. But the fact is, in the last 150,000 years, Homo sapiens' brains have shrunk by 200 grams, and they're continuing to shrink. A more comfortable life leads to inactivity and degradation. Homo sapiens could lose his intelligence forever. Hmm, well that's funny. I thought no one cared. Are you writing nonsense on ChatGPT again? Arnold, because of you, AI will think humanity is stupider than it is. And that's dangerous. Wait, aren't you curious about what ChatGPT will answer to the idiotic nonsense you wrote? 
Even Elon Musk is afraid that AI could destroy humanity. And you're provoking it. Hmm. It looks like you ran out of toilet paper. Do you think this is the worst thing that could have happened? Arnold, was that sound from you? I told you, because of your stupidity, AI is going to destroy all of humanity. Or maybe not all. A nuclear explosion will destroy about 3,000 square kilometers. In total, there are about 362 million square kilometers suitable for destruction on Earth. To destroy everything, it would take around 128,000 warheads. This is 10 times more than there are in the world. Arnie, are you ready for a nuclear war? Good news, part of humanity will survive. The only question is, for how long? Canned food is a great choice. Yeah, that last can was one too many. But what do you think, Arnold? How long will you last without plants? 